All right, each rod has a diameter of 0.5 inches, a weight of, yeah, let's, let's start this. Uh, each rod has a diameter of 0.5 inches and a weight of five pounds per, this should be pounds per foot. Five pounds, five pounds per foot. Determine the maximum torsional stress in the rod at a section A uh, located right there. Uh, so find the torsion due to the, the mass, due to the weight of the rod. Um, and then we'll I think the stress at B is going to be the same. All right, so a few things. If we want to find the maximum torsional stress, torsional stress, so that's the TR over J, correct? So I need to find what is T at this cut. What is T at this cut? We've got to go back to, to the 3D internal forces and moments that we did near the beginning of the semester. We've got to find that internal torque T at this location. Okay. And where is the maximum? Well, the maximum would, would just be at R max, you know, when R is equal to uh, 0.25. So the maximum would be at R equals 0.25 inches. All right. So, so I know R, J is just, just the pi one uh, the one half pi r to the fourth uh so really i need to find this torque t right here so how can i find that torque t this is how i like to do this just a little uh refresher right here um i need to find this moment moment that is twisting uh if i use the right hand rule it would be twisting this way let me define some axes. Let's define some axes. X, Y, Z. So I need to find MX. I need to find MX. So how can I sum my moments in the X direction? I need to find this MX. Do you see that the weight of this section right here pointed straight down? will create a moment in the x direction what is its weight let's just think logically real quick about it. if it's five pounds per foot and i have a three foot section right here it's 15 pounds right here what type of moment arm what type of moment would it create about the uh a uh, about the x axis uh 1.5 feet right it's moment arm would be 1.5 let me think about positives and negatives here in 3d i like to sorry define my moments as all right in 3d i like to define my moments right hand reel going in the x direction this one would be a moment going in the negative x axis my thumbs point the negative x-axis all right but then also this the weight of that section pointed straight down if it's one foot and it's five pounds per feet that would be five pounds so this five pound section has a moment arm of three feet also creating a negative moment uh, what about the weight of this section it wouldn't create an, an x moment correct it wouldn't create an x moment I did all that to get MX is 37.5 pound feet. That is my T. That is my T. All right, we'll do this next class. You might have to do statics. I mean, you might have to do what we did the first few weeks of class to find that internal torque T. Once we find internal torque T, then it's really CR over J. This is 